Welcome guys to a new year. Today we're gonna combine two different brands. We're gonna put Mickey Mouse in a Raiders uh, uniform. So let's go ahead and get started. And if you guys are new here, my name is Ernie and I customize just about anything from custom promotional products to branded gifts like the one we're gonna work on today. The first thing that we're gonna do is cover the entire canvas with a medium gray. Uh, so we have a nice base to work from. This entire process took about two uh, hours. And the first thing I'm gonna do after applying the base is just texturize uh, the background. I'm trying to create some sort of like uh, a movement uh, type of uh, texturize. So I'm gonna um, you know, brush a lot of strokes back and forth and put a lot of lines uh, horizontal so it looks like uh, movement. The top half of the canvas is going to represent kind of like the stand, the audience. The bottom half is gonna be uh, the field. I'm gonna go ahead and throw some uh, uh, light highlights. Uh, this way, it kind of shows you know the stadium lighting, and then I'm gonna go ahead and create my stencil. So this is one of my personal uh, projects. It's gonna be a gift for a family member. Uh, yeah, so it's not really for sale, but if you guys are looking for something similar like that Just let me know and send me a message on Instagram I want to keep the entire uh, project as simple as possible So I went ahead and uh, lower the amount of colors I'll be using on this particular project And of course it goes well with the uh, Raiders colors. It's just black and white and gray uh, So we're gonna be doing that today. We're gonna add a little bit of color right on the face, but that's just about it Uh, the first type of material that I use for the uh, decal is just regular uh, vinyl material that you normally use as uh, for stickers and stuff like that. Uh, the second one that you're looking at now, the uh, kind of bluish tinted, uh, that one's actually like a uh, a stencil material that you can also buy. It's a first kit material and that also cuts very well. So I'm using a brand new blade uh, and then you can actually, if you're used to cutting with the blade, you'll feel when you're cutting onto the film and when you're starting to uh, touch the canvas on the bottom. So you just have to practice uh, your pressure and you'll you'll feel it right away. So uh, it becomes easier and easier as you uh, continue doing it. So at first you might kind of cut through some things. So you might want to practice on a uh, piece of uh, scrap canvas or board. These materials, some material works great for like flat surfaces and kind of hard uh, surfaces and smooth surfaces the canvas has a little bit of texture so it's kind of difficult for it to uh, stick on there so you can use a little bit of heat of heat to uh, reactivate the glue uh, for it to stick a little bit better right now I'm working on all the details inside Mickey Mouse his helmet his shoes his uniforms and stuff like that so I'll just be using a lot of scrap, uh, you know, stencil material just to block out those small areas. And then I'll, uh, once I finish uh, the main character, I'll go ahead and start working a little bit more on the background. I've worked with a lot of type of medias and uh, different, you know, uh, styles uh, so for me it's it, it's better for me to use the right tool at the right moment uh, to make the job uh, look nice or the project look nice and uh, to make it uh, go by a little bit quicker so uh, some people like to use you know the brush all the way through through the entire thing which is cool too but for me I want to I like mixing the the medium because it kind of gives it a different uh, style different perspective Sometimes it comes out cleaner, sometimes you want something dirtier. So it just depends on uh, what you want to go for. In this case, I'm trying to do this as quickly as possible, but as clean as possible as well. The background is already gray, so I'm just gonna go and add a little bit of highlight and a little bit darker shadow. Um, in the uh, helmet area some of the texturing from the background is still going to be showing through uh, i kind of like that it kind of makes it look uh, kind of sketchy and rough at the same time it kind of 
gives the helmet uh, more texture so I'm gonna go ahead and leave that I'm just not gonna you know do it all solid and stuff like that make it look too cartoonish uh, so I'm gonna leave some areas with that texture in the background Like I said, I'm going to be working with different mediums, so in this case, uh, I think the paint markers um, uh, are a little bit easier to use when doing fine work and detail work, so I'm going to be using that for uh, the white, and then I'm going to come back with the black and, uh, you know, redefine those uh, black lines, the glove and around the uh, character, so um, that's the way I think uh, it should be done. I don't know. It's a little bit quicker, a little bit easier. Uh, it makes it more fun as well because you're using different types of mediums. This uh, third material that I'm using, it's more clear than the uh, first two that I used. It's actually transfer tape for uh, decals. Um, so it's a little bit less affordable uh, or actually more affordable uh, to use. Um, you know, it's not as big, but it does the job for what I need to do right now is just covering the uh, character and just working on the background a little bit more. So. Um, yeah. Let's add a little bit more depth to the background. I'm going to try to separate the, uh, the bottom half, which is the field, uh, versus the top, uh, which is the, uh, the audience. And I'm going to put a, um, uh, goal line. Uh, there so it kind of looks like he's running into the end zone and makes it uh, even more of a fun uh, painting so I'm gonna do that take off the uh, stencil and uh, just try to see where else we need to refine and uh, add some more material and at the end we're just gonna go ahead and sign it And here's the final results. Let me know what you guys think of this project. It was kind of fun for me to do. Like I said, I did it real quick. It was about two hours uh, to complete. I already knew um, the process that I was gonna take, so I just went ahead and executed uh, that. Um, I had other projects that were scheduled for that day, so of course had to work uh, fairly quickly uh, since it was during the uh, Christmas season. So hopefully you guys enjoy this video and I'll see you guys on the next one. Take it easy for now, bye-bye.